you talk to business people these days, HR people also, the buzz is social media. And so some people think it's you know, just a fad and another people think it is a major impact. So let me give you my gist of, of how it's going to impact talent management and HR. First of all, if you look at it, it's, it's, it's not a fad. It changes the way that we're going to do business. And to me, it's the most important change probably in the last century when it comes to HR. Social media and the mobile phone together are going to change HR dramatically because they're always with you. They allow you to learn from many sources. They give you tons of information. So let, let's look through it. The first impact that everyone knows about already is recruiting. So we know that we can recruit on LinkedIn or uh, Facebook or other things. But it, the best part is it allows us to build relationships. So great recruiting requires relationships. We can not only just find people on social media, we can build great relationships. We can then make referrals. So if we have a great referral program, we can have our employees turn those relationships in the referrals. And last, we can build talent communities. So Microsoft, for example, has pioneered this, where we can build relationships with people, not on jobs, but based on knowledge, being on a better professional, learning about their profession. And so that's a superior approach because it attracts people that are not in the job market, what I call non-lookers. And so you can get those people involved and eventually recruit them. Next, best practice sharing. So one of the things you'll find within organizations is that in a large organization, a great practice in London would not be even known in Japan. A problem that occurred in Germany would not be shared with some other place. So best practice sharing is possible if you have both internal and external social networks so people can say, hey, I'm having this problem. Or, hey, here's a practice. So from, from the wiki or Wikipedia process, it's now possible to build a wiki internally to solve problems so that anyone can go and go to this knowledge base and figure out how to solve problems. Next, learning. Probably the most important thing is now we learn with textbooks or classes or even e-classes, we can now learn by posting a question. So we can post a question on Quora or even do a Google search or an alert and we can say what's the answer. So instead of having to go to college or read a book, we can find answers immediately. So it's fast, it's cheap, and the best thing is that it gives you hundreds of comments. So if you and understand restaurants, restaurant reviewers give you one person's perspective. But Zagat, the restaurant process, surveys hundreds of viewers or hundreds of eaters. And so you can go online on social media and get hundreds of answers from hundreds of different people. And that makes the answer to more likely to be diverse and, and accurate. It helps you identify talent for development. So you, if you're you have an internal social media or even an external one, you can see as, as the head of development who is active on it, who is providing answers, who, who really is good. And you can also use that for internal movement. So identifying high potentials or people that, that are leaders can be done remotely instead of face to face. It turns out the number one factor for innovation is for people to collaborate. When you collaborate it gets you excited, it gets you jealous that other people are doing more, it gives you answers. So if you want to increase collaboration, social media is a great way because people that physically are not in the same place can work as a team, can work as ad hoc or permanent groups. So it allows you to collaborate and to share and that excites people. Next, it helps you identify problems. So for example, what are our turnover issues. Well, Dell, for example, can find a problem with one of their computers on social media long before they can find it in their call center. Well, when HR learns, that they can identify HR problems through tweets or, or social media items or going to Glassdoor or some other item. We can find what our issues are and maybe predict turnover. Maybe we can use social media to predict who's going to quit or who's not productive long before uh, they actually quit. And last, looking at LinkedIn is one of, one of my favorite sites. If you want a competitive intelligence, LinkedIn, you can literally track if you have, have access to, to their total database, what companies people are leaving, what companies people are joining. So let's say you wanted to raid a, a major company. You could use LinkedIn to find out who's leaving, where they're going, uh, whenever a job title change was someone's promoted. There's just incredible data. So we can now find out turnover rates of companies, find out where people are moving to, why they're leaving, where they're going, what skills are needed. It's just exciting. So using social media, finding out what the market demands, find out what skills people have, what projects they want to work on, competitive intelligence. Looking at the future is very bright. Now HR is one of the, the, the slowest movers in social media, but if you look at marketing or customer service or customer relationships, 
they have done a great job. So I recommend you, you take a trip over and talk to those people in the business side and learn how they do it because we're going to learn differently. We're going to find problems differently. We're going to recruit, retain. Everything we do will be through social media, at least partially.